Hello guys, today we are going to react to Finland's schools. I mean, I didn't really wanted to do this video, but uh, fate uh, kind of forced me. This is like the third time that I opened my YouTube homepage and I found this video. So I guess I must do it. Come on. <laughs> I feel so stupid for not doing it. So yeah, let's learn why Finland schools outperform most others across the developed world let's check it out <laughs> It's 8 a.m. on a cold morning in the suburbs of Helsinki and these primary school children Wait, what? You take off your shoes when you go to school? For real? A cold morning in the suburbs of Helsinki and these primary school children are getting ready for class. This morning's lesson, ancient history. Well, they are... What the hell? For real? That is so crazy! No shoes in class! Wow! Uh, reading with pairs, some texts about Egyptian ancient life. They are reading and then I'm gonna ask something, what, what did they find out from the book? Mm. I think we all are ready now. This Egypt is a school is, uh... system that for years has been among the world's best. And then what about this gold one? Yeah, Mintu, please. And yet these kids will spend half as much time in a classroom as Australian children. When you go to the first grade, when you are seven years old, the amount of hours is 20 hours a week. It's the minimum. And then it gets um, more hours the older you get, but it's still less than in many countries. In well, that's not a good thing, especially for the parents. Kids should stay out as much as they can. Come on, we parents need to work. <laughs> Europe or in the world. <coughs> in Finland, Sorry. it's individual teachers who decide how the curriculum is taught, including how much technology should feature in their classrooms. Me tehdään sellaista pyramidi projektia, missä me esim nyt me kirjoitetaan what? Wow, I never done that as a kid. That is so cool. 11-year-old Mint. Bro, I want to know how to write my name on hieroglyphics. Who Latomaki asks to leave class to work at the school's own student-run cafe. You can go. Yeah. That's okay. Shut your book. What do you mean work in the cafe? Wow! Hello. One cake for the cameraman, <laughs> one cake for me, and two coffees. How much is it? Two euros and 60 cents. Wow, that is so How cheap. Much change? <laughs> uh, two euros and 40 cents. Ketos. Perfect. Is there a, a tip jar? Do you have tips? No. No, no tips. Okay. <laughs> Wow, in Finland, that is so school cool. lunches, like books and excursions, are free. The kids select what mm. they want, sit down with their friends and teachers to eat, before they clean up after themselves. Yeah, I mean, you watch so many of those videos say, yes, uh, those, those countries in, in the north, you know, Nordic countries and Scandinavian countries have the highest tax system. But actually, you're paying way less. Come on, I have to pay always like like six or seven euro for each meal that my daughter eats in school so yeah that's crazy at the end of the month it's a lot of money yeah that's pretty crazy and here you have it all free free healthcare, free this free that come on you're richer than us definitely <laughs> you have less expenses after you paid off all your taxes that we have in the rest of europe for sure the children rug up again to play outside some play a raucous version of soccer, some play basketball, while others wait for the hockey rink to open. There are plenty of options for bad weather days too. The facilities in this school are just amazing. Outside we saw an ice skating rink, and in here where the kids can play at lunchtime, there's a ping pong table, a pool table, wow. and in here for the cold winter days, 
They've got a room full of bean bags and couches. Wow. And even that is so cool. That is like a summer camp and school combined. Wow, that is amazing. A PlayStation in the corner. Wow, yeah, it seems PlayStation. Like Bro. It's such a rich school. You must get more money than other what? schools. What? No, we don't. It's save money for everyone, actually. They take and borrow books. In Finland, schools are not allowed to raise private funds or to charge fees from parents. All schools are equitably funded from taxation. And in our system, everything is free for the students, actually. We don't collect any money from, from the parents. Wow, we want that is our so schools cool. to be equal and have the equal opportunities to arrange the education. So therefore, also the finance system need to be equal and treat equally all the schools. Ja tulee 16. Mintu Latomaki's older brother Levi is in year seven, and this afternoon he's got maths. We have uh, like the last um, chapter before we have the next exam. There are regular exams in Finland, but the results of these tests are not published and shared. We have national tests, but um, the big difference is we don't compare schools that this is not good school, this, this is bad school. And we just use the information that we evaluate ourselves. But perhaps the single biggest difference in Finnish education is the standard of teaching. Oh, no. Levi's maths teacher, Una Arnes, speaks five languages and has postgraduate qualifications. So every one of us, we have to have a master's degree to, to be teachers. So like, for example, me, I'm math and, and chemis uh, chemistry and physics teacher. In Finland, a career as a teacher is highly sought after. To enter the studies in university, actually, it's really hard. They take something like 10% to study teaching. If you really want to be a teacher, it can't be your second or third or I don't know what kind of option. It has to be your first. I believe that they mm. know what is the best for our children. I'm not a teacher, I don't have that education, so we don't interfere their work. In Finland, there's little anxiety about finding the right school for your child. We trust that they have very good school, so we don't need to to any research worker or... I think that is not a question no, in, in no. Finland. Finland is a vastly different country with a tiny homogenous society. You. But its education success must surely offer wow, some that lessons looks so for Australia. Good. I would like to say that try to build the system that you trust the people. And its investment in teachers seems an obvious place to begin. The society respects the teachers. It means also the parents respect the teachers that and they don't amazing. question the teachers. And that's in Finland a really huge thing. Bro, they should show this video to Italian politicians. Come on, what the hell? That was amazing. Bro, so in Finland you basically like... Uh... I don't know, you grow up super happy. I mean, not that Nita will grow up sad, but come on. I mean, that is so cool. What the hell? Wow. I wish I had that when I went to school, bro. I wouldn't have dropped school. <laughs> I would have like 10 PhDs by now. <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. And then after you finish school, you get the conscription that is really cool. I watched that video a year ago. Wow. Bro, I want to move to Finland. That is crazy. That was so beautiful. I really love that. I really love that. That was amazing. That was amazing. So, yeah. Thank you, YouTube, for keeping on recommending me this video. <laughs> I definitely had to watch it. So, yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy my reaction video. If you have any more suggestions for cultural thing belonging to Finland, let me know down in the comments which video you want me to check out, and I will try to do a reaction video very soon. See ya! Nakimin!